On a weekday afternoon, the DeSantos look and sound like any other family in Baraboo. We are goofy, but we're not like super goofy, but maybe we are, I don't know. <laughs> Greg works at the library. Karen runs the local boys and girls club, and Emily is in high school. But their everyday conversations probably aren't the same as yours. House and car insurance is due, um, so we need to do that. Um, we also need to find out your schedule for Chicago if you want to be a guest clown on the Ringling Brothers Circus. And look a little closer at the bookshelf and those family photos. Emily, Emily, our daughter's had a few friends that have come over that don't know what we do. And uh, they've, they've kind of done the look around a little bit and they see the pictures on the walls and the posters and, and they're like, your parents really must like clowns and stuff. The DeSantos don't just like clowns, they are clowns. Once they find out, then they go, oh, oh, so that explains it. We call it just slapping it on. You're slapping it on. Feels good. I like my clown face. It makes me happy when I feel when it's all done and I look at it in my little itty bitty mirror. I'm like, ah, look at you. It's like getting ready for work. And this is what hard up getting ready for work is, is putting my makeup on. Give them a few minutes and they go from Greg and Karen to professional circus clowns known as Greg and Karen. We're here. Excited. All right, we're here. Our clown is us. I mean, it's just our personalities that are exaggerated and sometimes they're exaggerated with makeup and wigs and, and costume and things. It's not really a character. It's me. I mean, I'm going to, I really don't change so much. I will get, I even forget that I'm wearing the makeup. Greg didn't grow up wanting to join the circus, but he enjoyed slapstick comedy. And in college, he saw a flyer for Clown College. They, if, you, if they accepted you, to offered you a contract to tour with the show, you had to give them a year on the circus as an apprentice clown. And I'm thinking, well, I'm 20 years old. I can do anything for a year. That sounds cool. 10 years down the tracks, Greg was a veteran and spent the end of the season teaching at Clown College. I literally was looking through a magazine, and I, there was an ad for Clown College in the magazine. Karen tried out and was expecting to travel to Florida, where Clown College used to be held. The letter says, Psh, confetti, it says, welcome to Clown College. It will be held in Baraboo, Wisconsin. And I went, what? Baraboo brought these two clowns together. After college, Karen received a contract, and they went out on the road with the traveling circus, working on gags. So basically we beat each other up with lemons and with squeezers and water. <laughs> it was, at one point I shove a lemon in his ear, and I squeeze it, and it comes out the other side. All of that. It was good. That was good, remember? I don't know how we did that. <laughs> it took a lot. But, um, but that's where we, you know, I, I, we just developed a good working relationship. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, you know, then he fell in love with me. They went on to perform everywhere. When you hear an arena a rut, that's something because you did, that's like amazing. It's addictive. I mean, it really yeah. is. That's when you just want more of those, those kind of laughs and those kind of, gosh, yeah, so, those are great moments. And it just kind of took us around the world. I mean, which was really cool. And you know, all worlds end up back at Baraboo, Wisconsin. Baraboo, Wisconsin. <laughs> When Karen was pregnant with Emily, they decided to find a permanent gig. Circus World Museum, remember when you went to Clown College? Yeah. They have a circus there in the summer. Yeah. They sit there for four months. You do two shows a day, you're done at four o'clock. It seems like it would make a lot more sense for two brand new parents with an eight-week-old baby that still want to do what they do to come to Baraboo. You know, we are part of this community now. I, I can't tell you how many times people have said, I've got a picture of you guys and my dad on our refrigerator. That We're on refrigerators across America. I we we really are. Greg and Karen still perform when they get the chance. I, you know, I still enjoy going to these buildings and playing them. and Because the laughs are good. Anytime you get, you know, a couple hundred or a couple thousand people laughing at you, it's a rush. And Greg is the executive director of the International Clown Hall of Fame. I think clowning really is a, it's a, like a pass-me-down kind of an art form. It's an apprentice-master type of situation. You learn by watching, you learn by doing. There's Emily when she was a very oh, young shit. clown. At first, Emily didn't want the family business passed down to her. It didn't interest me. I didn't want to be in the spotlight, and I didn't want to be performing because it scared me a lot. 
But a few years ago, she started asking other clowns for advice. I started doing some clowning more and I was like, oh, this is awesome and I love getting a laugh and I love getting like feedback. Just never wanted to like be what they did, do what they did. I wanted to kind of make my own character and my own like clown and my own performance. When I get my nose on it, I don't know, it just makes like everything come together. As Emily the Clown, she's a different performer from Greg and Karen the Clowns. Instead of the big gesture, she prefers one-on-one -on -one encounters, especially with children. It's the best feeling in the world, like connecting with someone, even an adult. When you have that like special connection that you know they're going to go home and talk about, it's just insane and it's awesome to know. But she does it her own way, and that's the beautiful thing, right. you know, in watching her. We couldn't be more proud just because she's doing it in her own way. She's not, certainly not riding our coattails in any way. In or out of makeup, clowning is what they do. It, it really is a lifestyle. Once it's in you, it's in you. Because you can't get rid of the clown because you are the clown. We're pretty darn lucky. We get to do what we do. Not, not everybody gets to do that in life, I guess. You know, we, we, could, we could say, honestly, we ran away and joined a circus.